Hi everybody, welcome to this video titled Cash Flow Forecast, AI and Machine Learning inside of Dynamics 365 Business Central. My name is Craig Kreskis. I am a partner solution architect here at Microsoft. And I wanna say thank you for being a part of this learning series. All of these videos align to just helping you as a partner learn more about all the incredible emerging technology inside of Business Central. Now, cash flow forecast is one of those first party applications. We call them extensions. Uh, and first party meaning it was produced by our development team here at Microsoft. And it's been in the product for a, a number of years, but I just wanna make sure that you have the understanding of how to go and enable it and demonstrate it inside of your Business Central demos. So here I am inside of Business Central and I'm gonna go ahead and select cash flow forecast. Now, again, I use the, the toolbars at the top to ensure that I have a single click. And so here you can see on the right hand side, you can review the statistics. Very insightful as a business owner, pretty standard functionality. So I'm gonna compare and contrast uh, the Azure AI infused into the cash flow. But first, I just want to start with just the standard functionality. Um, and then you'll see as we build upon it when you're building your own cash flow model, how to leverage the predictive insights. And so here I can go ahead and select on the cash flow forecast, uh, suggest the uh, worksheet lines if I want to drill into some of the additional detail. Scroll down, you can see all of the options or the sources that I've included. Now, at this point, I don't want to enable the Azure AI forecast because I want to uh, show you the compare and contrast. So we'll prompt it to control uh, what's included in this cash flow worksheet. So at this point, go ahead and select OK. And now you can see all of the details, the account, the transaction, all the warnings that you can drill into. We'll go ahead and close that out. Now, in terms of the setup, and where I would want you to go next in cash flow setup is here on this page. You'll notice that the Azure AI is not enabled. So I could have done it in that previous step, or I can go here, here and um, enable this. I'll edit this, but by enabling the Azure AI, we're enabling the, the web services to go and retrieve the Azure machine learning and build the model on top of the existing cash flow forecast that I just showed. So let's go ahead and hit edit and then I'll go ahead and enable this to one time acceptance on the terms and conditions. And now that I have that running, you can open up. And if you want to learn more details around the forecast model, how it works, uh, as you can see by the publish date, this has been inside of business central for uh, a number of years. And then if you come back to business central, the way in which I like to demo it, is inside of the Intelligent Cloud Insights window. So here you can see I've got this Intelligent Cloud Insights, gives me some of my KPIs, uh, embedded Power BI reports. And then you can go ahead and on the cash flow forecast, you probably don't have this yet. Oh, you won't have data much like I did. And then all you have to do is hit recalculate the forecast. You'll select yes. And now you'll see all of your cash flow but then the predictive analysis part where Azure AI is coming in and looking at some of the futures of our business and predicting what my cash flow would be. So it's just a short little demonstration, but to help you understand uh, the differences between the embedded or standard cash flow forecast and when you enable the Azure AI, how it enhances it even further. I wanna say thanks again for being a part of this video. Again, my name is Craig Kreskis, and I look forward to seeing you on the video again real soon.